be making a turn in the road any minute now. Let's have a look. Here he comes. I call perfect timing. Not yet, Maury, not yet. Marshal Brand. The only man in San Otto knows about the stage except us. <laughs> Take him. From out of the West, Dick Powell's Sane Gray Theater. I'm sure most of you have either read or heard about those famous gunslingers, Jesse James and Billy the Kid. But I may have a couple of new ones for you. Peter Simpson and Willis Johnson. Well, they were not notorious gunslingers, but their unusual weapons made them feared throughout the West. With an antique blunderbuss like this, Peter Simpson terrorized the stagecoaches of North Dakota for years. A blast from this 17th century shotgun sprayed pellets in all directions. One shot took care of everybody. Here's a weapon that made a man a fortune. This little stone is called an Indian rock, and it leaves a bright stain on your skin. See? A fellow named Willis Johnson would dab some spots on his face with it and run into a saloon yelling for a doctor. Everyone figured he had smallpox, and the place would be cleared out in less than a minute. Johnson would then leisurely empty the cash drawer and ride out of town unmolested. Here tell he had smallpox 150 times in Arizona alone. A killer changes the whole life of a town, the play you're about to see. A quiet Sunday in San Ardo. Did you find him, Jess? Just now. Come out of my door on the way to church, and there he was. Did you see anybody else? Nope. His horse was just standing there. There wasn't another soul in sight. Afraid this means trouble. Could be a raid on the bank. Well, if that's what somebody had in mind, this is a fine way to warn the whole town in advance. Well, maybe Marshal Brand found out about it and tried to make it back here to warn us. <laughs> and flung himself on the horse? Yeah. Oh, well, let's stop making guesses and take some action. First thing to do is get Brand's body out of sight before church is over. We don't want to cause any unnecessary alarm. Dave, take him down the alley and around to Doc Timbles. Next, we have to appoint a new marshal. Well, sure, but who? Don't forget, Roundup's still on. All the younger men won't be back in town for, well, another day or two. Well, now, you are overlooking a most excellent candidate. He's right over there in church right now, Clay Burnett. Why, sure. Now, wait a minute. What do we know about Burnett? He's only been here a few months. Well, he's fixing to stay here, isn't he? He's already well started on that ranch. Got his house half up and working like a beaver to get it finished. No, sir. If every able-bodied man in San Ardo was here right now, I'd say that Clay Burnett was the most logical choice. And the fact that he's going to marry your niece as soon as he can afford it has nothing to do with your choice? No, it hasn't. He's honest and hardworking and 
take no nonsense from any man. And can also use the money. Jason, president of the town council or not, you'd better watch your tongue. Well, I'm for Burnett. And to my mind, the best thing about him is he's a good man with a gun. But we've had enough talk. I'm appointing Clay Burnett, Marshal of San Ardo. And if you think you can get the council to override me, you go ahead and try it. Rich, you hop over to the church. Call Clay out. Do it quietly. Jason, you round up four or five men to set up a guard at the bank. When you get them, bring them back here for rifles. And you'll be doing what? I'll be installing Clay in this office. And by the time you get back, we'll have things well organized. Now move. Come on, Joe. Tell you what happened? Yeah. Well, it looks like trouble to me. Oh, could be somebody who's squaring a grudge against Joe, some gunslinger he'd run in with? Well, maybe. But why today when most of the men are out of town on the roundup? No, it must be the bank. They got Joe, and with the men away, the town's wide open to him. Clay, I need your help. Well, what's your plan? Organize. Be ready for him. Joe Brand cleaned up this town, and I mean to keep it that way. Now we can divide what men we have into two groups. One group can take a look around, the rest better cover the bank. Well, don't you think you'd better appoint a marshal first? I already have. You. Uh, if there's real trouble, Jim, I'll do anything I can to help it. I don't want that kind of a job. Well, why not? You're a good man with a gun. You're honest. People around here like you and respect you. Well, I'm glad to hear that. And I appreciate the offer, but... You and Jennifer want to get married, don't you? This job pays very well. Help you get started. Besides, San Ardo is such a quiet little town. I'm grateful, Jim, but I can't accept it. Look, I've been on the move for a long time. I finally found a place to life. All I want in this world is to settle down and make a home for Jennifer and me. I thought you'd be proud to take a job like this. Oh, Jim, it's more than a job. Once you put on that badge, you gotta forget about everything else. You're the law, but you're only as right as your gun. You gotta prove you're fast, and you've gotta keep on proving it. If you're right, you're respected. If you're wrong, you're dead. I've used a gun, Jim. Right now, all I want is a chance to prove that I can raise good cattle. And you don't care what happens to the town. I told you, if there's anything I can do to help, I will, but I don't want to be marshal. I see. Well, maybe I was wrong. Maybe you're not the man for the job. Or for my niece, either. Well, that's for her to decide, isn't it? Jennifer thought she was marrying a man. I'm glad we found out before it was too late. You're a hard man to convince. You make a habit of coming in by the back door? Sometimes. Who are you? You don't know me? No, should I? You will. Everybody will. Well, good for you. Yes, sir. When I walked by that door a little while ago and I heard you arguing with the mayor, I said, this is a man who knows what he wants. He and I ought to get acquainted. I think you're right, too. A man shouldn't be forced to take a job he doesn't want. Especially a dangerous one like being marshal. You mind your own business. No need to get mad. I'm just trying to help you. After all, look what happened to Marshal Brand. Clay. Why, Uncle Jim told me that he offered you the marshal's badge and you turned it down. Is that... Who was that? I don't know. Is it true? That's right. 
I asked him to wait until I could talk to you. I, I felt you might change your mind. I won't. Why, Clay? The town needs a marshal. You'd make a good one. Not if I don't want the job, and I don't. And I don't understand, Clay. This is a chance for you to do something for everybody in San Ardo. The town needs a man like you. I'm very proud that they want you. I'm proud, too. Oh, Jenny, I've been over all this with your Uncle Jim. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I didn't think I'd have to explain it to you. These people are my friends. I've... I've lived here all my life, Clay. San Ardo is my home. That's my home, too. Jenny, I finished the roof of the house. Come on, right out with me. I want you to see it. No, Clay, I'm sorry. I think this is too important just to walk away from. You seem to have a reason that you think is right. I'd just like to know what it is. You want me to take the job? I just want you to have a good reason for refusing it. I got two. One, I don't want it for myself. The other one, I don't want it for you. Clay, I've got to know. Are you afraid? Honey, you're going to have to decide that for yourself. Right out the house. I'm sorry, honey. For one side, I'd rather be wrong. Just be glad you found out in time. Oh, Dave! Come over here, I want you. stage. Oh, there's lots of time. There's the way to pull a job. No marshal, no posse, no problems. Pretty good planning, huh? Yeah, I hope you're right. Don't worry. They're too busy guarding the bank. They didn't even know about the gold on that stage. Only the marshal did. I don't think he'll be telling anybody. What if they should pick another marshal? They tried it. After the way we sent the last one back, nobody wants a job. There's a rider coming from town, heading this way. Ringo, let me take care of him. I was wondering how we'd pass a little time. Let's all go meet him. <laughs> Girl talked you into it, huh? Too bad you didn't follow my advice. Get out of my way. I don't like to see a marshal work on the Sabbath. Where do you think I'm working? Now, whatever you're doing, you rode the wrong way. Too bad, Burnett. I told you to stick to ranching. Yes, yeah, so that's going to do. I think I'll have to forget it for a little while. Go ahead. Try it. Is he mine, Ringo? Take it easy, Maury. You had your chance with Brand. I'd have shot him right through the star. That would have been beautiful. It's your trouble. No genius, no originality. 
Now, if the law was going to get me, Burnett, just hang in height. Maury, let's move. the marshal. But we can't afford to take any unnecessary risks. You see, we're going to meet the stage down at the wash, and you being a good citizen might try to stop us. souvenirs. Marshal Brand. You're learning, Maury. You're learning. And make them tight. You like Haynes, Burnett? I hate him. I can't even watch. We're gonna let nature take care of you. That's the original way. We're gonna go in and leave you. What do you mean, leave him? in letting nature take its course. Nature grows grass for horses to eat. Horses get hungry. When his horse eats the nearby grass, it'll wander away to the far away grass. We're gonna leave you now. I believe in giving a man a chance. <laughs> what chance has he got? Maybe his horse doesn't like grass. Side now, honey. Why well, take it easy, honey? Let's just drive slow. I can't play. I'm afraid. I'll 
scare your horse. I'm alongside. Come on, Jenny. Hey, girl. Come on. Clay. Clay, I love you. Who did this to you? What happened? Same men who killed Joe Brand. Led by a crazy killer named Ringo. But why? They're going to hold up the stage. Clay, these are handcuffs. I can't get them off. I'll, I'll drive you back to town. Good time for that. We've got to catch up with them. Clay, they'll kill you. Nobody's going to do this to me. Nobody. What can you do? It isn't your job to stop them. You said so yourself. You haven't got a chance against them like this. I can stop the stage. You're right. I can catch up with Varingo later. Clay! I still think after we get the gold, we should go back and see if Burnett's hanging. There's something real about a bullet. I don't trust no rope. You annoy me. The only thing bothers me is I hung Burnett so nice and original, nobody's gonna know it's my idea. Well, it looks like you're going to get another chance. He's still wearing the handcuffs. Maury, we do things my way. I know why plan was right. What could have happened? Don't worry, Burnett. I'll think of another way just as original. It's hard to keep topping myself, but I'll do it. Well, I could suggest a better way. If you're interested, suggest it. I'm doing my hand. I graduated from common gunfighting at 21 by shooting my teachers. My hands are numb. Be some time before I can use them. See how long you've got the guts to go before you draw. It's a cute idea. Yeah, I'm learning from you. Take the cuffs off. something, Burnett? I'm gonna kill you. I'm real glad I stopped Maury from shooting you. I would have been real sorry to have missed this. It's been some time since you tried out draw, man, Varengo. You had your men doing it for you. The old man gets out of practice. Hands get stiff, get slow. You should have thought of that before. Maybe it's too late already. Draw. Bang. The whole town's grateful for what you've done, Clay. You've got to take this now. Mm -hmm. I still don't want the job. But the people won't accept anybody else. You've proved you can handle it. Besides, San Ardo is such a quiet, quiet little town. town. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, honey, let's ride out the house. Right after dinner. Okay. Mm -hmm. 